Adventures Through Time, Mary MacArthur and the Chainmakers Strike. The Black Country Live Museum is a pretty cool place to find out about the places we've come from. And not just the places, it's great to find out about the people behind our history too. Okay, where should we go next? Oh, let's go and ask that guide. Good afternoon, young sir and miss. May I welcome you to the Workers' Institute, rebuilt here brick by brick from Cradley Heath, a veritable hub of activity for those that lived over a hundred years ago. Nice. Look at the massive banners. They're really colourful and look like they've been hand-stitched. What does that one say? To fight to struggle, to right the wrongs. Wonder what that's all about? They're protest banners for the National Federation of Women Workers. Why did they make them? To protest. And they're very delicate, so don't be touching them. Uh-oh. Too late. What's happening? Oh, I told you to keep your mucky mitts off them, didn't I? Well, can't be helped. Here we go. Shush you lot. Mrs MacArthur speaking. A trade union is like a bundle of sticks. The workers are bound together and have the strength of unity. No employer could do as he likes with them. They have the power of resistance. They can ask for an advance without fear. A worker who is not in a union is like a single stick. She can easily be broken or bent to the will of her employer. She has not the power to resist. Excuse me, what's everyone doing here then? What are we doing here? What are you doing here? We're the National Federation of Women Workers. Most of us here are chain makers. We're some of the most qualified workers in the country. I don't know what your mother's earned, but we dream of earning more than 10 pennies for a day's work. I warrant I'll work harder than most folk. So we're taking a stand, striking. And that lady? Mrs. Mary MacArthur. Our angel. She's the one organising the strikes and fighting folk down south to get us a fair wage. Permanently. Striking means? It means we won't be serving our labour until we get a fair wage and conditions to match. If you see something's not right, well, you have to take a stand, don't you? Them owners have been stockpiling chains. If they think they can do without us, <laughs> they got another thing coming. But shush now, there's talk we'll be in the Times of London tomorrow. Mary certainly knows how to make folks sit up. That's so cool. Cool? I'd say it was awfully warm in here. Not as warm as the furnace now. <laughs> so does your mother work with the chains? You two still here? Come on, I'll show you chains. Where are we now? It's a brick hut. So hot and so dirty. Women and even girls working. Let me guess. On chains? That's right. Girls as young as you. In 1911, they thought it was better for them to be earning a penny here rather than waste time at school. Babies too. Left wrapped in boxes so their mothers can work. And all for a pittance. That's so not right. It's really dangerous looking work and they haven't even got gloves or eye masks on. Their clothes are ragged and dirty. I'm guessing this isn't work that rich people do. I bet there are some getting rich all right. Spot on, lad. Wow, what did that lady just say? Ten pennies for a whole day of this? That's not right. I can see why Mary McCarthy went to hell. Was she a chain maker? No, she was quite a grand lady growing up. It was seeing things with her own eyes that made her angry. I don't think she started out planning to end up helping these poor women, but help she did starting unions all over the country and keeping them going. After all, it takes time to rouse folk and funds, and it isn't easy when the situation is perilous. It's much easier to organise in good time, help women see that there was strength in numbers. It's a bit smoky in here. I'd better get you back. Kids today sometimes go on strike. What about all those strikes for climate change? All thanks to Greta Thunberg. You youngsters might think you invented protesting, but as you can see, there's a long history of protest here in the black country, and Mary MacArthur was right in the centre of it. Yeah, 
They called her the worker's angel, didn't they? Well, she got the job done. Helping the poor swimming get a more fair deal. It just goes to show that protest can be worth it. So, you lot out there, is there anything that you think is unfair happening in the world right now? Why don't you have a go at designing your own strike placard that demonstrates your point of view? It should be bright and easy to read and make clear exactly what it is you are striking against. Like Mrs. MacArthur's banners. To fight to struggle, to right the wrongs. Couldn't have said it better myself. Black Country Living Museum Adventures Through Time with support from the Art Fund. <laughs>